Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on this because I just spent a while trying to figure it out. Uh, so I was kind of hoping there'd be a video on it. Um, so here I have opened a uh, tune for, or a uh, log file from my uh, Avalanche. I was doing some uh, wideband tuning on it, uh, getting the speed density done. Uh, but I ran into kind of an issue that was throwing me off. Uh, so here we have uh, commanded EQ ratio, which is, uh, that's your lambda. Uh, if you're not familiar with lambda, it's your air fuel ratio. So one being stoichiometric, uh, lower like that would be rich, and then over one is lean. Um, so that's kind of what the computer is looking for. Uh, all wide bands read in Lambda, but then they convert them to AFR, just because most people are more familiar with that. Uh, it really doesn't actually matter which one you use, except for in this case, because HP tuners is kind of stupid. Um, so here we got like, you know, I'm at 13.9, whatever. Um, but here we have commanded air fuel ratio, and that doesn't necessarily line up with commanded lambda, and that's because of this alcohol percentage. So my truck is flex fuel, so all current or like all modern gas has some ethanol in it, about 10%, so 9.4. Well, anyways, it's adjusting the commanded air fuel ratio for that percentage. Uh, but our wide band is reading in lambda converted to AFR. So our error is going to be the difference between, you know, actual lambda and the commanded air fuel ratio based on this alcohol percentage. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Ooh, if I could find the mouse again. All right. So here I added a MPVI input. I haven't configured it yet. So I'm going to go to transform. And if you have one of these magical sensors that can read EQ ratio, that's your lambda, and that makes it easy. But if you have one like I do, I have an old wideband commander, and uh, it does not, or it reads an AFR, not lambda, and there's really no easy way to convert it, or easy way to uh, you know change that setting. So I'm gonna show you guys how to convert it to Lambda, we're just gonna have to do some simple math and uh, go from there. Uh, so what I want you to do is here is my wideband in AFR. Oh, focus you, frick. Okay, so we're just gonna copy that right down here on some paper. So we have V over 0 0.25 plus 10 equals our output. Um, so the easiest way to convert this to Lambda so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this bottom and we're gonna multiply it by 14.7. And then we're gonna take the, the 10, the adder number, and we're gonna divide that by 14.7. And uh, I will do that and I will put okay, some so I ran that math. Um, so basically all we are doing is we're dividing the whole thing by 14.7. In fact, we're even doing the output by 14.7 because a lambda of 14.7 equals one. So, you know, if we're 14.7 divided by 14.7, that's one. So that's like the conversion ratio. Um, you can take a lambda and multiply it by 14.7 and that'll give you your uh, air fuel ratio. Um, but anyways, so that's all I did. So because this is on the bottom, it becomes multiplication instead of division, but divide everything by 14.7, so our V is 9.1875 plus 0 0.6803. And that'll get us our lambda. And you can always check this by putting in a voltage, because this is, the voltage is from zero to five volts and make sure that they both come out correct. Um, so anyways, now we can go back to the computer and so we're going to take and we are going to go to user defined. So my bad commander. And then we're going to 
choose any of the uh, any of the uh, EQ ratio sensors. So I'm just gonna go this first one right over here, at, right here at the top. Say yes to that. And now see that gave us the units of lambda, and so that's telling the computer that this is a. Uh, sensor reading in lambda, so EQ. And then we're just going to enter in our values right here. Oh, that's a, oh not a zero. I'm stupid. Okay. And we're going to click OK. And I've already done this with my other one. And we can go back up to our charts. And what we had as uh, what we had as AFR before, our AFR error, oh, dang it, I hate it when they do that. Okay, so here's our EQ ratio. And you see if we go into maths, before we had lambda AFR, so we had AFR error, and that AFR was erroring extra according to our alcohol content. So we're just gonna switch those over to our lambda EQ error. That ended up working out really well. And we're just gonna save, select graph. Uh -huh. Yep. Anyways, so we're gonna save that. And then now this is going to be reading the error, but an actual true error based on lambda versus lambda, not AFR that's corrected for ethanol content. Um, also, that's another big reason why tuners prefer lambda instead of AFR, because the system is stupid and it converts it for no apparent reason. But I'm sure it makes sense somewhere in the system, like in GM's hardware, but it doesn't really matter for real people. Anyways, I hope that helps you and uh, get out there tuning.